In today's lesson, we will learn about the tricky comma splice. A comma splice, also referred to as a comma fault, is the use of a comma to join two independent clauses. The comma splice is considered a punctuation error. And although technically not a run-on sentence, comma splices are just as confusing. You may have seen comma splices in literature. And while authors may use the comma splice as a literary technique to convey a certain mood or tone in their writing, you should avoid the comma splice in your daily writing, especially on standardized tests. Let's take a look at some examples of comma splices and how we can fix them. Clara thought that the bees were dangerous. I assured her they were docile. When I sat on the horse, I held the reins and put my feet in the stirrups. I sat there nervously, since this was my first time on a horse. The horse trainer had a smile on his face. I think he could tell I was a bit scared. Many municipalities have adopted ordinances that limit levels and kinds of noise. Many people disregard these laws. The ocean is too deep and underwater pressure too great to support marine life. Many species survive at greater depths than previously believed. These sentences may sound okay to your ear, but technically they are incorrect because, again, commas are not used to connect independent clauses. So we are going to learn the five ways you can use to fix a comma splice. The first one is the easiest way. Simply separate the two independent clauses with a period. In other words, make two separate sentences. For example, when I sat on the horse, I held the reins and put my feet in the stirrups, period. I sat there nervously since this was my first time riding. Now we have two complete sentences or two independent clauses separated by a period. The second way to fix a comma splice is to use a semicolon to connect the two independent clauses. For example, the horse trainer had a smile on his face, semicolon. I think he could tell I was a bit scared. Again, in this example, we have connected the two independent clauses with a semicolon. The third way to correct a comma splice is by using a coordinating conjunction. You can use one of the fanboys. Clara thought that the bees were dangerous, but I assured her they were docile. In this example, we connected the two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction, but, and we followed the punctuation rule for coordinating conjunctions when they connect two independent clauses, that is, Place a comma before the conjunction. The fourth way to fix a comma splice is to use a conjunctive adverb. Conjunctive adverbs are technically conjunctions, but the punctuation differs. Let's look at this example. Many municipalities have adopted ordinances that limit levels and kinds of noise, semicolon. However, comma, many people disregard these laws. The conjunctive adverb is however, and we follow the punctuation rule when a conjunctive adverb connects two independent clauses. We use a semicolon and a comma following the conjunctive adverb. The fifth way to correct a comma splice is to use subordination. Use a subordinate conjunction to turn one of the independent clauses into a dependent clause. In this example, we are going to use a subordinate conjunction, although, to create a subordinate clause to connect with the independent clause. Although the ocean is too deep and underwater pressure too great to support marine life, many life forms survive at a greater depth than previously believed. In this example, the subordinate conjunction turns the first sentence into a subordinate or dependent clause. To summarize, a comma splice is the use of a comma to join two independent clauses. This is considered an error because this is not the function of a comma.
Commas are technically not used to join two independent clauses. The five ways to fix a comma splice. One, separate the two independent clauses with a period. Two, use a semicolon to connect the two independent clauses. Three, use a coordinating conjunction. Four, use a conjunctive adverb. And five, use a subordinate conjunction to make the sentence a subordinate clause. And remember that on standardized tests and academic writing, comma splices are always considered incorrect. If you are taking any type of standardized test, you must know how to identify and correct the comma splices. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you real soon.